Most people in America are looking for how to make a life worth living in return with having. In order to do that, we have to have the opportunities to be ourselves, and we have to be able to do that without being monitored by a police network that takes our privacy rights, takes our medical rights, takes our mobility rights, takes our transportation rights, and takes our social rights away from us. The truth is that people in America lie, steal, and cheat me and you out of their property every day. You see, I might lay myself down to avoid an epileptic sort of epilo episode, or I might lay myself down to, or to avoid a narcoleptic episode, but when you're placed in incarceration for something stupid, it allows judges to abuse you. They openly take their information onto their cell phones, to their girlfriend networks, to their hot chick flicks, and openly, that's not okay. In America, we have rights to privacy, and we have rights every day. Some people feel that certain people don't get privacy rights, but they get the right to privacy. An elderly woman who is retired and allegedly you know, going in to the Sears shop with her husband and then came back and around and talked to me, tried to plant me with five dollars. I refused several times because the Lord said, please don't receive it so many times that I really didn't want to receive it. You see, God knows the will of a soul. God knows the direction of money, and God knows the intent of an individual. If the intent of an individual is to give money to play a game of financial abuse, God is not pleased by that. There is no Mother Mary and no amount of Hail Marys that you can do with that. She also tried to gift me her rosary beads, which I was not interested in, because no man wants to take a woman's personal rosary beads when there is no sexual attraction, no intimate relationship, and no moral um, fortitude for doing that. If she's out at the mall again and she wants to bring me a new pair for, that is black and is made of beads, I'm fine with that. But when I have my own Buddhist beads, I expect them to be left alone. Someone stole my Buddhism rosary that my wife, uh, when she went before me, actually mailed to me for holiday times. It was a $150 investment on her part in Japan, and that's missing someplace. Who the motherfuck had the right to take my property bags from me and steal those items, I'd like to know. But there's a old reporter's couple, Mike Ahern and Sherry Ahern out of Indianapolis, who were also struggling with poverty and were getting help from their Jewish-oriented church, and I forget what the nation of that organization is called, but they had my property bags. They were only going to hold it for a half day. They picked it up the night before, and then I got lamb-blasted into staying in the jail for three months in isolation. That should have never happened to me. But at the same time, I've been trying to reach them for more than a year, and I cannot get them on the telephone. I can't get them to return my text messages. They did call me a couple times, but I've tried many times since then, and I can't reach them. And I'd really like my property back. They have a one-of-a-kind shirt of mine. They have my actual original books in that bag and other things that belong to me. And that was only half of my gear that I went downtown with. The other half was stolen by sheriff in the Indianapolis Marion County Jail, and I say that because not only did they not give me a proper property report where they documented everything, that when I went to go pick up my property as I expected and as anticipated after talking with my, some of my uh, men handlers there, that I pretty much presumed that Joshua and his friends would take my property as trophies from me. Or perhaps it was Lieutenant Lackus, or maybe it was Corporal Stinson, or maybe it was one of her marvelous mental health people that were trying to fuck me out of my rights when I was in jail, creating a whole scene on my actual uh, federally protected mail. You see, I just had some questions for the postman and some bitch who was over the jail that day, and I can't even remember her name, Obrimsky, Obramsky, some sort of O name, interfered with my rights to ask the questions, why is my mailbox mail from my mailbox in Noblesville coming to the jail? I made no forwarding address, and that made me very angry that I was receiving federally protected mail to the jail, which means that this time, is all my mail now going to the jail to Lieutenant Lackus? I can't say for sure, but in life we have moments of time to speak the truth, 